Good morning, everybody from Aburatsu in Miyazaki Ken on the island of Kyushu in the country of Japan. I always check for four things before I leave port, some more relevant than others. Now I've added a fifth before I leave this port for my onward journey. <laughs> Finally, I was able to go. There was a hole in the weather, and I could leave Miyazaki for Aburatsu. One of my patrons joined me. It was fun to have Robin on board. And a big thanks to Taka and Tomoko, who provided supper the night before, and I could enjoy leftovers the next morning. How is it? It was good the next morning, but kept it in the food saver bag overnight. Perfect. I had to prepare to leave at high tide because it's a shallow marina. Although Robin was along, I sailed as if I was single handed. He manned the camera. Although he did help watch the depth meter as we left the shallow marina. But you know, Yubinoshima is so shallow too, going in and out. It is. So I'm heading to Aburatsu, about 26 nautical miles away, on my way to Amami Oshima, although that is now in question. I'll tell you more about that later. But here's just some shots as we sail down the coast of eastern Kyushu in Japan. It was a brilliant day, and the hole in the weather stayed for us. Uh, there were storms not so far away, believe it or not. We had good winds for part of the way, but we also motor sailed. Now coming into the harbor. We were arrived, we were met by our friend Harasan, who had invited me, and he told me to tie up against an abandoned boat. And we tie up to a derelict ship as a pontoon. Assisted by a good friend, Harasan. Ah, oh, beautiful! <laughs> man came down to greet us and seen the yacht come in. And he wants to buy one, so he wanted to come and check mine out. And there we are, tied up against the abandoned boat. So we're safely at dock, but now I must face this new issue. I always check for four things before I leave port, some more relevant than others. Now I've added a fifth before I leave this port for my onward journey. Uh, the usual items are I check wind, of course, because wind is key for sailing. Uh, number two, I check uh, waves and swells, both in terms of height and period between. Uh, you have to relate those two numbers together. Thirdly, my boat isn't lightning proof, so I, I check CAPE numbers, which is the uh, instability in the atmosphere where thunderstorms could develop. And fourthly, I check currents. Uh, some ports more than others that's relevant to either because of the last port I was in, the entrance is shallow, so you only leave and uh, enter at high tide. Also, uh, tidal currents during through straits are important. You need to go through at slack tide. But also now I'm nearing the Kushiro current and that's ever changing. So I have to take that into account 
and that could be up to two and a half knots against me uh, at, at times and you know that's that's nearly five kilometers an hour for those not familiar with knots but now I've had to add a fifth for this next phase of the journey and in fact it may curtail my plans and I have to adapt and that is volcanoes particularly underwater volcanoes resulting in pumice ash floating in the water and there's pumice ash now has migrated from the new island that has formed from Okasawa Islands near Tokyo when I say near Tokyo it's a long way from Tokyo but within Tokyo city limits if that makes sense and there's now uh, sheets of this both surface and below the surface uh, coming into Amame and many fishermen have stopped fishing etc so um, it's weird to say the least meanwhile I'm here and I'm joined myself I'm safe and I'm having to have a discussion with History Channel of whether we pivot and film the pilot someplace else so stay tuned I'll tell you more as it happens have a great day So I'd like to invite you to join me on the Daring to Realize Your Dream video course. I've basically taken everything I've learned along the way about how to realize high stake dreams um, and want to share that with you. A lot of it has to do with navigating fear and obstacles, overcoming difficulties, finding the inner tenacity to keep moving forward. And so please join me for the Daring to Realize Your Dream course. Uh, sign up today. I look forward to seeing you there.